Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I still been getting questions, which is good. So I figured I'd answer some and kind of show you what's going on with the uh, Bane or Bane, Bane vest and the Bane helmet. Okay, so I like your questions. Been real good. I guess um, one of the things about doing special effects and everything is that um, a lot of people may scoff at what you use to make it look legit. So if you're doing a Bane uh, helmet. They may, you know, if, if you, like for instance, this, <clears throat> people ask, you know, for the helmet, here's your helmet, you know, like this material on the inside, this black, um, it's all it is here, and even this right here, see this, it looks like silver, something hard, it's just this, foam sheet, see that, you cut it, cut it uh, to the shape, you draw on it first, and then cut it, um, what I like to do is, if I'm going to be using an identical piece on both sides, instead of trying to draw two pieces that look the same, I'll use cardboard. I'll cut out one shape and just use that as a stencil, and that way you have identical pieces on both sides. But uh, yeah, it's just this, you know. It's just, and then and then okay, let's see. You're lo you you folks are asking how to, how the, these are made. Okay, it's this here, dowel, do wooden dowels. I cut it on a bandsaw at 45 degree angles and mashed them up so that they're, they look like the real deal and cut them up with a Dremel and I, I painted them. It, it, a lot of the, the detail obviously is in the painting. So you take some time to paint it right until you think that it looks just like the movie one and, and you get it to the point where you, and you use different types of paint. You can paint it with like acrylics like this. Uh, well, I don't actually have it here, but acrylics from Walmart, you know? The, they're like a dollar and change a bottle, little ones, and they wash off with water when you off your brush. You paint with that um, for the you know to get one style of color. And then for all the silver highlights, I use a spray a spray can, regular spray can, aerosol pour it, uh, sprayed it into a little pl uh, plastic cup. Of course, you get to use a cup that you're gonna throw away, but um, and go with the brush. Just paint a or spray a bunch of it so that you have a good amount of uh, spray paint. And um, dip your brush in and paint like little um, little details like this, and it'll it'll make it look shinier instead of trying to spray it. Um, or you could obviously buy the little model paints. Um, but uh, yeah, you know it's it's little things like that, you know. And, and um, normally nobody likes to talk about what they have or what they made uh, made it with because maybe they're embarrassed or whatever. But you know, I figured, hey, if you make it look good, then it doesn't matter. Like for instance, for these, this is it's just nylon strapping. Okay, use this nylon strapping for it. Okay, obviously the loom part right here is wire looms. Okay, I cut that in half, and then you glue it with super glue. Uh, foam sheet and wooden dowel. So I feel like uh, feel like some Discovery Channel guy. Well, what kind of what can you make with those items? But um, I, I did list this vest on eBay. It's it's kind of I just threw it on real quick so it doesn't look all it looks kind of disheveled. But I will show you uh, the helmet real quick as well. Uh, I, I finished putting the magnets in, and as you can tell, my hair grew out a little bit. So it was kind of a bummer if I wanted to keep growing it out and cutting it uh, for the videos on here. So that would be kind of a pain in the butt. And don't mind the backdrop. That's my that's my um, this Batman right here, obviously, yeah, right there, Batman. But I have my treadmill right behind me, so I normally put a backdrop up. So forgive me, please. Uh, but it is, it is done, 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 done. Okay, and it fits, as East Ventura says, like a glove. Now, because you guys, um, if you do cast it the way, and if you follow the way I said with the plaster bandages, you most likely will not have some like your friend fit it, unless you got a gigant, ginormous head. But because you really customize it to your own shape, and it's a hardened interior, it won't, like, you can't sell it on eBay. You can sell it, but not everybody will be able to fit it. Like, I tried to fit this on my dad's head. It doesn't fit. Why? Because I cast it on my own head, and it's exactly the shape of my face and head. So, I'll show you real quick. But, um, yeah, so I have a couple of magnets right there, magnets on the inside, and it locks up. Check it out. It locks up good. It's I mean it is solid. So that's my new favorite thing is the magnets.
How's that? Dark man. But yeah, so, you know, just take your time doing it. And, uh, oh, I need to buzz my hair if I'm going to wear this. And remember, if you make your Bane helmets, it's probably not that good to go outside and go to the bank in them um, and go shopping, go to the, the uh, malls. Until it's like Halloween. And even then. Oh man. But um, yeah. It pops right off. Check it out. Voila. Pretty cool right. And it's it's solid. It, it's a good fit. I mean. I've seen a lot on, on eBay. Um. They were sculpted and cast in urethane, which is a hard rubber. And they look great, don't get me wrong. I mean, I saw the sculpt of it. The sculpt was absolutely beautiful. And, uh, you know, hats off to whomever sculpted it, the ones on eBay. But um, the thing with that is I've seen a lot of people wearing them on the computer. And they, if, they, if they're smaller size people, uh, smaller guys and whatever, then the actual cast was then you'll have a gap in here. And, and I can see their ear. I'm sure if next time you look at the Bane videos, um, look over here. You can see their ear because it's it's just floppy. It's open. This one's not. I mean, it fits perfect, you know. But um, let's see. Yeah, so I, I'm trying to cover all your questions. Um, that, 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 and I hope you, you're not getting bored with all the, the Bane suit um that I, you know, I talk about and I, I bring it up. I'm just trying to get you guys ready for Halloween and trying to make it uh, cool to watch. Okay, I am working on another Bane vest. Can you tell? Right there, see it, huh? See that guy right over there? Um, yeah. So I'm working on that one, and uh, that should be it for now. If we're getting closer to Halloween, and I'm sure you can see all my other videos. I talk about Halloween coming up when I was Kratos. Um. Oh man, I, got, I should show you some of my other costumes that I've made and that I've been. But please, uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm doing my best to answer you folks on a timely basis. Forgive me if not, if I, if I don't get to your question. Uh, if I don't get to your question at all, please send me a private message. I don't mind. I'll do my best to get around to it, okay? But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, subscribe and uh, let me know how your guys go. Uh, costumes are coming out let me know if you guys if you guys find a better way if you guys find something cool that you'd like me to share heck i'm all for it right you know let me know and i will share it and i will give you all the props and everything okay uh let them know that you know who i i found out from so please don't be ashamed to contact me for that i'd love it you know it's an open community and that's why i'm sharing it I, i'm sharing it so that we all can see what's going on rather than being um you know, trying to keep secrets to myself or whatever. I want us all to, to learn together. Let's learn together. How about that? All right. So take care for today. And I love you guys. Be good and help each other out. All right. Aloha.